You're live. Live. Hey, 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 hey. Got that hour in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Well, folks, welcome to the cold. We survived the rain, and it rained a lot. A lot. The hurricane we had come through uh, a couple weeks ago, it rained a lot, and it moved slow, but it didn't rain here as much as it did. This thing was in and out in the day. You can look behind me, you can't even tell when this came through. So, but who all we got in here tonight? Granddad's Ford, Jile of Metal Ford, oh, Mad Keller, Mad Frontier Ford, Thomas Dean. Howdy, howdy, folks. Luke Petty Ford, Ben Ware, Jeff Pender, Ben Two. So what, tonight, what the Ford? What the Ford? John Coffee, Penny's in the house. So tonight, not necessarily making these, but kind of uh, working on things for craft fairs that I've got coming up that I've booked here in the last week. I know I said we was going to do scissors tonight, but uh, I've booked some shows uh, since that last live stream. So got to focus on building up stock and the things that sell the best in live shows, not in live, but in craft shows, you would think you want to take the showcase your abilities and yeah, take one or two things and big things that you do, your bigs, but what sells the most are small, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 dollar items. Make sure you got plenty of those on your table. You know, and uh, for starters like these little keychains, uh, Rubik's Twist, they're not hard to make. I've actually got a video on that and it's going to be coming out very soon, uh, within the next day or so. Uh, not so much on the twist, but just some tips I have for the twist, okay? Uh, and other projects as well. So be on the lookout for that. It's kind of, it's called just because you should, doesn't mean, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Uh, I think it'll touch on a few good topics. But things like this, you know, you can paint them, drill a hole in, put a key, key, key tag lanyard on it, and sell it for 10, 15 bucks. They don't take you but a couple minutes to make, really over the grand scheme of things, you know. So, try to keep it to some smalls, you know. So tonight, that's what I kind of want to work on. I've got to build up stock for these shows. And I want to kind of throw a few different things at you. Uh, some pot loafers that I do, make some cowboy hats, show you how I'll make those. I got a really good tip from uh, Braden, uh, Brighton Kinnear. He, he told me how he does his, and I like that idea. And I, I started doing that way, they turned out really well. Uh, we're going to heat treat some spike knives. I know the spikes don't make good knives, but they're not the eyes that sell them for cheap. People like them just to put up on the shelf and make a railroad spike. We've got a few of those that might bang out. We're going to more of those tonight while we're live. We've got two hours of the field. So let's let the forge heat up. Right now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, just a simple horse head bottle opener. Uh, want to knock it out it's real quick. It doesn't take near as long as you think it would, especially if you got practice at it. Greg Jay's in the house. Charles Nowitzki, Wolfpack Forge. Howdy, howdy. You guys notice I got me a little bigger hammer here. It's a four and a half pound rounded hammer. I came by this. Uh, you guys remember the guy that was harassing me, right? About getting his hammer done. His ship date was two days ago. He emailed me that morning. I want the shipping information now. I know it back. You'll, you'll get it as soon as I go to the go and ship it today. It's shipping today. It's ready. It's going out. And then he messes me back. Oh, what a girl running his mouth. And, you know, so, well, I told him, well, I've upgraded my packaging, so I hope you like it. Don't want it to get damaged or lost in shipping, you know. And he said back to me, well, I know where you live. And that's where I drew the line, guys. Uh, I'll tell you something right now. You ever say that to me and I get within arm distance of you, you won't say it more than one time. I promise you. But as a business, I have to go take it up with Etsy. Uh, they're canceling the order. He is at this point realized that he is screwed up because he wrote that in an email in writing through their conversation uh, panel. So they have history of the whole conversation. They've emailed me. Uh, he said, you know what? Keep the hammer. Don't worry about the money. Blah, blah, blah. Because I guess he's worried he's in trouble should be uh but came by me a nice new hammer here so long story short he threatened me kind of i guess you could say we all know what that means i know where you live you guys know what that means Willard. yeah bradley what's that mean to you somebody's aggravated at you and they they say i know where you live that means come get some that's exactly what i think <laughs> come on so, big boy you know, 
uh, I hate it went that far because I had his hammer ready. I didn't break the contract. Etsy knows I didn't break the contract. Uh, they may or may not force me to refund him. Uh, I've made the hammer. I don't want to lose the time or the money. The hammer. Unless one of you guys, one of you guys want to buy the hammer, I'll refund him the money. But you're going to pay for what he paid for it. And I'm using it. It's a damn good hammer. I hate to sell it, but they're either going to force me to ship it to him or uh, give him the money back. And he already said if I send it to him, he's throwing it in the trash as soon as he gets it. It's right there. It's a great hammer. Five dollar super chat from Jeff Fender. Let's have the party started. Five dollar super chat from Jeff Fender. Fender is the party the started. Bro. All right, you ready for me, Willard? Edge Gray Wolf wants to know how much. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all hit that like button. I would set off three quarters of a cube near side of the anvil, half off, half off for my first offset. What this is doing is setting down the jawline. Open it up, go to the far side, stick half of what you just set down off the edge of the anvil, hold it about 45, half off, half off. That's a snout that you're going to be driving down there. What we got now. I can do these a lot quicker, but I'm going to walk, walk you through it. Now I'm rolling that cornerback on each side of his jaw, kind of giving it some uh, character. And it breaks the corners on the inside of his jawline down there. Then I'll come to the near side and I'll do the same thing again. Essentially, that's just cleaning up inside these set downs right here for his jaw. Snout. Put some shape into his snout. All right, we're going to take another heat, then we'll come back and sit down for his neck and start putting some features in. He said, How much for the hammer? Uh, yeah, and how soon to sell? It was $208 after shipping and everything total. Just to let you know. The four and a half pound rounding hammer is. 180 bucks on my Etsy shop, and you was the shipment with the insurance and everything right at $208. That's what he's bought. Andy Dangles in the house, BB for I had it. $20 super chat from Coffee. Oh, gas started, too. Hell yeah, Coffee. What I'm talking about. Thank you, brother. Here's to you, sir. Yeah, it's a little disappointing it went that way, but I stood my ground on that, guys. And I know a lot of people say the customer's always right. Well, yeah, no. You want to please them as much as you possibly can, but at the end of the day, you need to take care of you. You know, if, if they're flat out being rude, disrespectful, threatening, you have it in writing and everything, and proof of it, there's no sense in stressing over it and, and fighting with them about it and taking it to someone else. If it's a personal issue at your house, handle it however hell you want. I don't care. But as far as it goes through your business, you're selling them something, making something to somebody that goes awry, handle them through the proper channels, and it'll all work itself out and wash. I mean, I ain't necessarily going to be thrilled if I got to give them the money back because I made the hammer. I, I'd like to sell the hammer. It's essentially, I bought a $200 hammer for myself if I have to give this money back. Now I've got the hammer sitting here. Yeah. Hey, Amy. Hey, John. Sorry, they said hey to me. In the all right, now we're going to go to the far side. And we're going to leave about a half inch past the glass set down there for his jaw. Be accurate with your hammer blows there, half on, half off. Because it's, yeah, you're doing your set down here, but it's creating a bulge up here towards the nose. A little bit back to the nose is going to give you a little bit of area for the uh, eyebrow. It's going to make it sort of an eyebrow feature. Okay. So you get his neck narrowed down a little bit, rock it back a little bit, get all that neck back some. Draw up your business head down some. That way you can keep this clean. How we broke the uh, corners on the jaw, we're going to do the neck right here as well. Straight up, and go that way. Okay, 
Now we've rubbed the jawline corners there so it's not so rough. Uh, give it some character. Brings a little life to it. Add a little more to it if you want. Back in the fire. There's my loving wife. Let me see what she needs. Champagne works in the house. Hello, baby. Sure, I don't need anything before she comes home from work. That'll be a good woman, folks. I'm telling you. Who we got? You said uh, uh, Champ Ironworks. Uh, Champ Ironworks. Hanson. Jones and Emporium. Rusty Dubcat Ford. Jones, are you the one that sent the email board. with the, the leg device that has the broken leg on it? If that's all that's wrong with that thing, you scored for 60 bucks. Get you a piece of pipe that that thing fits down in and slide it on there and weld it around there. To the height you want that you can extend the leg on your leg box now you can make it higher or lower if you want it's gonna work great it's here man over here well or, wait i'll bring it to you look here guys same thing jonesy this vice that i have here i guess the leg was broke off and they repaired it by sliding a post up the, the pipe up on it and welding then they put some kind of bracket on there however they mounted it but everything else is fine just the leg had been broke but for sixty dollars you scored brother Easy fix. Easy, easy fix. All right. Now that we've got that all taken care of, come in here, get our chisel, zoom in here, Willard, so they can see kind of where I'm at. Hey, Chris, right where, where the jawline set down is. You want to tilt your chisel, angle your chisel back towards you. Cut there for the ear. We come up here, give it a nice big cut for the mouth. Get your center punch for the nose hole. Put that in there. Now I have an eye punch here somewhere. There it is. I've showed you my eye punch before. It actually gives it a lifelike eye, so you have the eyeball and socket. One hit there. Then I'll take my ball tool on his cheek and draw his cheek out some because you know a horse has a fat jaw. Okay. Zoom in a little bit there, Willard. I'm in. See the features on that? Bring it up close a little bit. What's that? Bring it up some. Yep. Do that really well? Yep. Over. Go back for another heat. I, of course, uh, I think I'll catch up on the Make It Monday stuff from my live show to show everyone how I do tapers. That'll work. That sounds like a great live show. Uh, Xavier Highland, Exercini, he is making a horse head bottle of Making several different things tonight, guys. Uh, getting stock made for the show, showing you, you know, some different ways I make things. Uh, not really going too in depth in it because it can get a little overwhelming, I guess, if I start showing you different ways of production. So, thank you for you with that. Uh, so, you make one or two of each thing, and it'll help you guys see how I make it. Plus, it'll help me build up stock for my shows that I've got coming up. So, it's a win win for both of us. Jerry and Joe is in the house. Who's that? Hey, uh, me and Joe is watching. Howdy, howdy. Jerry and Joe. Jerry, what's up? You said what Ed's up? in the house as well? Yeah. What's up, Ed? How you doing, brother? Uh, MC Mexican. MC Mexican? Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, Say that name again. MC Mexican. MC Mexican. What's up? <laughs> I like that. It's funny. Funny that. All right, the next tool I'm using, I'm going to show this one really it's just a simple uh, foldering tool. Small foldering tool. This is what I'm going to set the main end with. Okay. Remember, when you come out, make sure you're on the right side. 
the same time that you put all the facial features in, you decide that you want to put that in. Switch hammers to this. Then on this, you kind of want to you go opposite direction of the ear. Half on, half off the edge of his neck. You space about probably eighth of an inch. And I put five in mine. These are inspired by Brian Brazil. If you've ever heard of him, you should go check him out. Okay. They go back up to the very edge. And you can put some three-dimensional feature to it by pushing that edge out, kind of like you're doing the button on a bottle opener, you know? Pushing it out. All right. Throw that there. This is where I would take it while it's cool. Go ahead, that way you don't disrupt too many of the features. Get your bend in that you want. See there, we have a horse head. Now we're going to do the bottle up real quick. Again, these go a lot quicker whenever you're, you're not working through the camera. And also, you can put multiple bars in there at the same time. So the time that I'm spending here talking with you guys, I would have another one over here repeating that process. And then I put that in, and I pull the next one out and do the same thing. So it put it in kind of production mode. So what takes you an hour to make by itself, you can make 12 in that same hour if you do it that way. If you put multiple irons in the fire, don't put too many in there because you mess your stuff up. Okay? Uh, just rotate as long as you can keep up and withstand you've got some stamina and you keep hammering you go for an hour straight what normally takes you an hour to make you can make 10 of them an hour just put it in the forge take that heat do what you can with that heat you put it back in the forge grad the next one you do the same thing so that way every heat you're doing the exact same thing to each piece and then when you get back to the one that you've already started you go to the next step of the process with that heat you go to the next piece you know so also so you don't have any downtime no dead space getting all 10 things made at the same time that you can be sitting there waiting on another one to go. Great for Trace me look like the big Jim and Trace being in the house. Howdy, it, howdy. It. Jesse Hart. All right, guys, we got 51 in here and only 31 likes. Y'all better hit that like button. Yeah, y'all got to do something about that. All right, this is where a slot punch comes in handy. If you don't have a slot punch, it's a regular. Once I get this thing marked. Right, so I'll show you what we got. I didn't want to waste any piece. Notice I hit one time only and pull it out of there so it doesn't overheat my tool. Once you bottom out, on the back side you'll get what's called a show. That area right there that was contacting the hand. Uh, I draw back to itself to straighten the piece out. Go one more time from this side. Just protrude the exact spot that I want to shear out. And shearing the plugs out of these things is done best in a low heat, anyways, because instead of letting the metal stretch, it wants to shear. Just go over the back, find your shear. Watch it out. drifting the hole over because the slot bunch goes from rectangular papers back goes just round and uh, I've cleared the head of it out some so I don't think we'll punch all the way through anymore but uh, I'll punch it halfway through knock it out and I have another drift laying here that I used to just drive right through it. no big deal but the slot punch is great because it punch a slot and then drift it out as well with the same tool to make it round whereas I'm trying to take 
What's that? Coffee's wife says hi, James. Well, oh, hello, 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 Miss Coffee. Hey, Miss Coffee. Camera's in here as hell. What's that? Don't you start with me, Hammer Tom. I didn't hear what he said. Camera zoom sure is helpful because I didn't zoom in on that. <laughs> uh, Ed wants to know how wide is the flat stock. How wide is my flat stock? I'm using quarter by one to make this. You want, to, you want to drift this at a high heat, once you start getting that black green, you need to really stop. Uh, you can learn your limitations. I know how far I can go with it without ripping it, but if you're new to drifting, then punch a keyhole while working and drifting, the most important part of it is stop when your heat gets a little low, low in it. It'll start carrying instead of stretching. Rusty Hubcat wants to know if you're going to do any uh, pickup cones soon. Any what? Pickup cones soon. Or. What are the pickup calls for? One for us, okay. An order? Yeah, I get an order. Don't make them for fun. Or you want me to do a video? Yeah, I've got it where it'll slide through. I'm not going to try and force it. I'll take my drift out of there. And at this point, set in your mind to think, what would you do? Me? I'm going back really after I straighten this out. But would you, if you had instances where you're at this point, or you want to go ahead and drink that again, I'd advise you not to go back and get you another heat. All right. Says for the triple pickup, so they wanted to order. Speak to me. For the triple pickup, so they wanted to order. Oh, the triple pickup tongs. I have not tried them yet. I see what you're talking about, triple pickups, not just regular pickup tongs. I remember that conversation. <laughs> How many we got watching now? 46. 46? How many likes? 36. Don't let me down. Hit the button. Y'all hear the disappointment in my voice. Okay. Uh, Wolfpack got a not a good place right now. I'm gonna want something else. I got a lot on my mind with the investment today. Well, brother, we can handle your business, please. All right. Now we're gonna come back out, and I'm gonna drift from the opposite side that I started on. Let's just clean it up, drift it up. I go to each corner in my party. So it even so it drifts even. Okay. Now we're we're drifting out big enough to get on the horn. So I'm gonna put my hardy tool in there now. We're gonna cut this bad boy off. Make sure you leave enough meat there to throw out the ring this thing. Lupe's in the house. What's that? Lupe's in the house. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to try to say that last night. Grimes in it. Okay, now, bring it over here real quick. Favorite tracker. Where we cut it there, I'm going to take that excess off the rag. That way I don't have any kind of weird cold shuts or cracks. Take the points off real quick. Don't think for a second. Alright, we got it cleaned up back in the fire. point on the production mode I would take another one out of the fire do the exact same thing that I just did again and then back in the fire
Uh, you can get just as many done in the same amount of time. If you're trying to pull them. Work them all the same time. Forge in the house. Jeffrey here. Ah, what's up, Jeffrey? How you doing? What was the cut for? What was the what? The cut. The cut was for cutting the horse head bottle opener from the parent stock. Han Solo in the house. There's a coach in the house. I had it. What's he making? He's making a horse head bottle opener amongst other things. I will be making several things to hang out. You guys get a good tutorial on this so far while I'm making it? You guys gotta understand where I'm going with them, doing well? Let me know. If I suck at it, tell me. Okay. First heat. I'm gonna come out, knock the corners down in, look around, same thing. Go up here and keep it flat. You don't want any cold shuts. Alright. Now, straight up and down. Work yourself all the way around this thing. And come back to start. Chant it just like that. Then you want to flip it. Do that chant again. I'll go back straight again. Got no feet? Go back chanting again. Just drawing it out. Flip it around. Get everything you do, mirror it on the other side. Big enough for a bottle opener. This is nice, uh, what do they call them? Oh, I'm gonna pick up my tongue. I'll think of it. Facets. Put some nice facets around it. Give it a little texture detail, but nothing's gonna hurt your hands. Something that just makes them look nice. Facets. Did you get a good shot on that? Did you see that well how I was doing that? John Coffey's going to work on his first hatch tonight. Uh-oh! Oh, I want to show y'all something I'm working on. Mr. Dan. Daniel left Moss us. in the house. Daniel Moss, how's it going? Dan Zappel left us some uh, mild steel planks. So they were half inch thick, two inches wide, six and a half inches long, I believe they were. I did a folded dot at eye axe. I didn't set down the stuff for the chinks and the bit up here. And I used some of that 4140 flat bar that he gave us. I folded it on itself a couple of times. The porch welded it. I've got the bit in it and everything so far. It's welded up nicely. But uh, I think it's coming out well, guys. What do you think? My first folded bit, folded eye axe. And I'm going to draw it out, clean it up real nice. I've got my drift over here. So I'm not going to do that tonight. But I think it's coming out well. I'll leave that sit there. The brother wants to get you a nice little picture of it. Hey, um, man, we're coming out hot. All right. We've got our bottle opener done. But it's not open bottles yet. Unless you got a ball punch. Make the button on it. You want to come in here? I can go all the way on. Some people go three quarter on, quarter off. Go all the way on, one or two shots. And I tilt it in the same hole and push that button down. That's all you need. Then take this, clamp it tight, just give it some love on the end there. You're doing the uh, horse head model up there. You're going to want me to do a blacksmith cross peen model up A blacksmith what? Cross peen model up A cross peen. Alright, now we're going to brush this thing really well. 
And as it's cooling down, we're going to give it some crash transfer. Once we get down to a good black heat, we're going to do a crash transfer on it. How much? Uh, yeah, what's going on, baby? Thank you very much for the super chat. See, folks, can you see that color transfer on there already? Blows by brushing its face with a brass brush while it's in a black heat. And you don't want to try to get all the low points. If you're using, doing the brass brush, the uh, brass brush, generally you're trying to antique it, age it a little bit, make it look weathered, old. And if you get brass all down in the lows as well, it's going to look manufactured, I guess. Just get it on there enough where you're satisfied with it. Boom. You got that like that. It's a... Uh, on our next project while it's cooling down I'm going to get this in the fire the next thing we're going to make is going to be a, a cooking tripod for a campfire I'm going to put all three bars here real quick to get, get them going these are uh, half inch square stock cut five foot long 20 miles dude right now what we're going to do is we're going to put some tapers on them on the ends get them ready to stab in the ground Zoom in on this door. I don't want to see this color change. See how it's got the brass look already. This is going to antique that brass. And it's going to seal it, protect it from the weather. So. See how it darkened that brass up? Get more bronze gold. You just set that to the side. It's done. Now, if you bring production mode on those, next heat, you'd be pulling it out, finishing one up, brushing it, setting it inside again. Uh, you can get a lot more of them done faster. Where I put my lead? See, there we are. You guys kind of understand what I'm saying about production mode where you've got several bars in the fire. Like, I'm getting ready to show you on a small scale what I mean by that. Okay. 16 pound Mawabo. 16 pound Mawabo. Jesus, Dad. That's huge, Dad. That is a huge Mawabo, dude. Thomas, I think they tell you to step it up, bro. They challenge you. The Mawabo game is weak. Alright, we're gonna come out and taper these. Camp ironworks, smaller tanks on what? Huh? Gonna give my smaller tanks. I want small tanks. I can't hear you. You have to wait till I'm done hammering.
of the LP tank, little one. Uh, those are 40 pounds of peas. I wouldn't say they were little ones. I want a 100 pounder. I'm trading the 240s for a 100 pounder, champ. How many we got watching in here? 56 with 58 likes. How about that? Likes. Hey! That's awesome. More likes to viewers. That's what Happy dance. Share the stream, man. We're making a lot of stuff, having a lot of fun. Like, like. I like the glow over the top of the house over there. The sun's been well down and still got a nice glow to it. Yes, the art says that, that they missed the finishing of the scissors. We didn't finish the scissors. I was scheduled some shows. I've got to build some stock up, so I had to move to this one now, but I'm going to finish the scissors as well. Right now, I'm going to this out on the one-dimensional paper. There. 
I'm going to bend me off this way. And then we're going to go on around. I want that eye in the center there. Super chat, how about that? <laughs> I gotta work tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Jeff says he gets fifty dollars a piece for his gun out of five eight. What do you think? He gets what? Fifty dollars a piece out of this set for five eighths. What do you think? These tripods, just for you get twenty dollars or fifty dollars a piece for the tripods. You're underselling yourself, bro. Real quick. 
These things that is what I would consider a big. Uh, take one or two of these with you. I sell the small, I've got small, medium, and large. Smalls for 75, mediums for 100, large for 125. I uh, also have bundle kits where you can buy them with a trommel, uh, or you can buy the trommel separately for 45 bucks for a handmade trommel with five different settings on it, kind of like this. This right here. Okay. You just hang your trommel off one of the books right there. Like so, you can adjust it lower or higher. Raise it over your bottom. But this right here is how it's set up as a tripod. Or disassemble it. Drive that in. Damn, that's something getting here pretty good. Yeah. Pretty solid ground. Now you've got your bipod. Rack. Your spit. You can put that handle in there like I was saying. You know, just... You can stand here by the fire. You just turn that thing if you want to, you know. It's a pretty nifty little deal. But this isn't the finished state of them. These are still rough forwards. I haven't done any cleanup on them, wire wheel it. I haven't put any oil on them and coated them and let them soak in or nothing like that. Okay. I'm going to go to two dimensional paper or one dimensional paper here. I'm actually going to do in a jig because it's got to be precise. Put it in there. Move it right around my hammer. These two need to be the same. That way it sets right whenever they hook together. Okay? So those are best to do in a jig. If you're doing just a single line, do it by hand if you want. Uh, if you're doing production, definitely use jigs all the way around. Okay? Good. What we got, Bradley? Jones and Corey want to know what type of metal. Mild. Just 19 mile. What carbon mild fuel? Jim Patterson's in the house. Better late than them. Yeah, what's going on, buddy?
next we're gonna fold it in half on itself. You don't gotta forge well some people do, some people don't. I don't just fold it in half on itself. Simple. Easy task. Clamp it in the vise. Bend it over. Bring it down. Finish it up. How many's watching? Fifty-seven. Sixty-one likes. How about? You gotta share the stream. Get it out there. Share it. Share it. I think Willard needs a jacket. He's up here dancing. Gotta stand in front of that board for a minute. It helps. Gotta stay warm out here, man. Gotta swing that hammer for a minute or two. Oh, yeah. We'll do some jumping jacks back here. I got to get that first three there. It's nice to actually kind of slow down and work for the camera. The last few days, I've been. Let's, let's, let's get as much done as fast as possible for as long as possible during the day. The rough. Non-stop. Jeffrey Hill said, I bought a dog from a blacksmith once. First thing he did when he got home was make a bolt for the door. Ha! <laughs> You're so funny. Do it again, do it again. Any questions? What are they talking about in there? How many people they got to be running the gaps? What did they say? Ask them what a Moab, 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 uh, I think he's talking about the tripod, the poker, and all that. You sell the whole thing for 50 bucks? With a poker and everything? Who is that? Chair Firework. It's that about 250 earlier, though. 250. So that don't sound right. $50 for a tripod with a poker and everything?
junkyard. Bottle opener now. Tripod, poker, and trammel for two pieces. There you go. Bring that sounds up, better. Bring up the hammer thief. Oh, yes, we have a hammer thief. Folks, please be on the lookout. Uh, customer and a supporter of my channel. Uh, Wes Criswell. Sorry, but I ain't going to use your name because it is your hammer. It is tracked that way. Um, he was robbed the other day. And somebody stole all the same force hammers and bandsaws and stuff like that. But luckily for him, I marked my hammers. So, and, and they, they stand out. So his, num his hammer number, it's a straight P, two to three pound straight P, hammer number 42. Um, if you find one of my hammers for sale somewhere, guys, let me know. Um, let Wes Criswell know, please. The Criswell Blacksmith, Criswell Blacksmith. Um, it, it sucks when something like that happens, man, because people suck for that. Those are, those are his tools, man. That's what he uses to make money. He had several nice hand force hammers, one of mine were included. And but I know we can track mine, so be on the lookout in all of your Facebook groups, uh, tailgate pages, hamper making pages, whatever. Even if they try to grind it off, you're gonna notice that because you know where I put my numbers at. They're right there in that center folder on the cheek. Okay, so they'll have to grind that off and you're gonna notice that. All right, another one dimensional paper. Broke into his shop. Stole his hammers. Little sucks, don't it? Put his fingers on the anvil one at a time. Ding, ding, ding. I don't like feet, folks. And, uh, be on the lookout, please, for those for us hammers. I'm not sure the other makers, he could be more specific if he's watching. He can let you know what the other ones are, but you guys know what my hammers look like. Okay. Eat the wife made dinner. If I don't eat, she gets upset. You can't have that. That's right. Who's happy that? wife, happy life. Ed. Who? Ed, Ed Christine. Ed, Ed brother. Have wife made night. dinner. Time to eat. I can't help but feel like I'm going dead tonight, guys. You I, are. I think you are. Either that or y'all are further back. I think we might do the cold air. Y'all are further back than normal, too, because we got the table there. You put us here. That's what it is, the wind blowing your voice that way. That's right. 
to carry it away. Right. How about it? Start up a fire of the nickel's leg. I know that's right. Put you pit into a fire pit. <laughs> Had to be greedy with our table. I look forward to the back. I look forward to the back. Y'all have to come right up. Shark tooth twist. What's that? A shark tooth twist. 
That's not user friendly for something like that. That's more decorative, I think. I do like the sharp tooth twist, though. That's a pretty damn cool twist. For a J hook, we're going to use the same jig. Super chat earlier, sir. Thank you very much. Have something to show you guys this weekend. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh oh. Woo -hoo. Looking forward to that. All right, we got it tapered out, rounded back up. Now we're going to come out, scroll that in, go to the jig, bend the J hook, and mark it where we're going to cut it off. And they're quick, they're simple. If you got a bunch of these in the fire one time, you can you can bang out a hundred of these in a couple hours, no problem. I think. I think he's crazy. Thank you. Where's your husband at? All right, we got the scroll on the tip done. Get it hot. I'm come out. I'm going to quench that tip off so it doesn't deform it any. And then we're going to bend the hook. You cold, Willard? Well, I'm fine. I'm staying warm. I switch with you. Y'all want to see Willard for something real quick? Say, Willard, bang up some metal? Nah, next week, oh, maybe. Peterson's here. What's going on, brother? You ain't late, brother. We still going. We still going. Glad you can make it. I am doing the uh, live stream on Saturday as well. Be there. That's more for my, it's for everybody, but I'm doing that because I want to be able to get to the folks that are across the pond that have a different time zone way further ahead than us, you know, that don't really get to see me on Thursday nights because they're 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when I go live, so. Saturday the stream is geared more so you guys have the availability to catch a live stream too. But everybody's welcome to watch. Xavier, I didn't show up to Fords, I showed up to record. <laughs> Alright, we quick that tip off there. Julie says, come on, Willard, don't be scared. You know better than that. <laughs> Amy Dagle, we'll see you next time. Amy, we'll see you. Nice clean Jay. Xavier and drink a beer. Yeah, something like that. Maybe okay. four. Now we're gonna get our length where we want to cut these and I'm gonna mark it. On the ammo. That way, once I bend them, I can just put it right on there, go to that mark, set it, and cut them at the same spot every time. Uh, 110 where Penny is, 210 where Ulf is. Yes, yeah, Jason Ford's going to keep playing, but got a tater tight panther on the chow, man. Fuck, no. I hear you bragging over there, Jake, uh, Jason, but where's Isaac? We didn't share steak last week, so we can't <laughs> play. 
Now, who's that for? Where's that? Exactly. Making a fat man hungry. Oh, we will. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> There's some skinny in there. There's some skinny in the house. I only had to make it twice to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you if you have to Google how to use the Insta Pot, you might be a redneck. <laughs> what do you mean you don't just turn the damn thing on and let it boil the water? <laughs> but we got it, didn't we? Just go a nice clean cut. Take your time. No rush. Get the, the, what I call rag, get the center of the hook, and whenever you do the set down to draw out the hook, the, the tab. Uh, 500 knots. Oh! Let's get some red beer, send me a bottle up there, or a beer. Heck yeah. Thank you all. Hey, hey, I said I'm a drink hey, over here hey. Super Chat. I guess I need to chug the rest of my beer for that. That's right. Here's to you, old. Oh. You're the man, old. That's right. Bottoms up, boys. All right. Huh, track me for a second. Get back on track here, James. <laughs> you bumbling idiot. I'm screwing up, man. Here we go. All right, we're wanting to straighten our hook out. Make sure we're lined up really nice. Okay. Good and clean now. Go back in. We're going to heat this end up here. Yeah, Jonesy, uh, lo mein's always good, and spicy lo mein's even better. You got that right. I don't Jones know if you heard about that southern, southern where'd we chili? Ah, it's getting about that time, ain't it? That weather's coming. I think it's time for a pot of chili this weekend, Julie. Yeah, maybe a chili cook-off coming soon. I'll do the cooking. I'll eat like hell. I don't cook chili. I've been re-challenged because I won. <laughs> you cheated. You pulled a recipe <laughs> off the crazy. internet. I didn't follow it directly, though. Whatever. See, I got too many friends and family members that cook good chili. I don't need to worry myself with cooking chili. It's the first time I've made a pot of chili other than throwing some hormel in a <laughs> damn teapot. That's not chili. That's dog food. That well, when I made chili, it won. Blow it, man. And I count shit for it. <laughs> All right, we'll come out. Make sure we turn the hook down. Sit on now. Oh, so we want to go full on the angle on this one. Rounding hammer. My uncle Bump's boy got some swage blocks on Facebook. What's up, can't Uncle Buck? Can't keep up with the comments and questions. Came here for some entertainment. You come to the right place. You want to go around this thing evenly. Make it look decent. And I take them and I drill a hole because I'll I go and just zip them on the sander real quick in the shop. Just clean that top part up there where we cut it off with the hard cut. Uh, real quick, zip it off with the sander real quick and then just punch a hole in it and it's done. I'll clean it up and paint it. Make them in different colors if you want. Black's the favorite color. Um, I do recommend painting the hook because it's going to be wear on it and stuff. The wax in there, something will rub off. Paint them. That's my recommendation. But there's the hook done. You're working a ton of them. You've got 10 bars of that there. You just made it 10 hooks in 15 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Okay, what else do we bring out here to work on, guys? Your oh. lives. Yeah. Also, I'm going to do a quick something that uh, seems so remedial, so dumb. Sells well, people buy the hell out of them. Remember the Rubik's Smith I just showed you? 
but people buy those, but they also just twisted steel. Piece of twisted steel. Hey man, that sounds like a good uh, rock band. Twisted steel. Yeah. Just, I stay in here. I'll twist it up a few times and put it in a band saw, cut it up into like two inch pieces, and drill holes in it. Make keychains out of them. And be surprised. Uh, you paint them all different colors. People buy them. Five bucks all day long. Took you what? Once that thing's heated up, you can get ten or twelve out of there. It took you a minute, two minutes, tops on each one. Say 15 minutes roughly between cutting them all up and hitting them with the sander or painting them or whatever. Total. What we got? What we got? 44 watching. 65 likes. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. So we like to see, folks. That means it's getting shared even more every week. Yes, 66 it is. Likes. Yeah, 68, my God. That's right. Keep having that like button. If you haven't shared it yet, do that too while we're waiting on this thing to heat up, guys. No, we getting there. I'll tell you what, you hit 80, I'll get up there and help James. Uh-oh. 80, 80 likes and Willard's swinging on the hammer. 80 likes and Willard's going to That's help. only 11, folks. What are we going to make, Willard? I don't know. We'll figure something out. Ah, we can make a bell. Ding, ding, ding. We're trying. We're going to swage some pipe. I'll, I'll hold the pipe. And uh, if you can hold the swage, and I'll take you can't hit it too hard, so I don't want to let you swing it right yet because I know you can get it like you try to swing through fences. And y'all got me one. I'll All right, get on there and hit the light button. Something super and simple like this. That's called some of the stuff. There. Come here. Grab it up here where the heat stops. Let's give it some twists. Hey, I even get on mine to hit that like button. I want to see him get up there and do something. Ooh, that heat feels good right here, too. Feel it, can't you? Yes, I can. Oh, here's a little nine more likes, trick. folks. Share it up. Here's Tell a little trick. Hit that like button. Blow that bottom end down a bit. Get that top tight back up to it. See there? Looks nice and uniform. Okay. Got that twisted up. back over here, straighten this out, put them out. It's kind of long. Take get rid of that heel right there, it's going to cause me to fall one day. And we're going to bust out Mr. Allen Scooter's mallet. Guys, go check him out. He posted on Blacksmith Mashup. Uh, the Show Your Stuff Sunday, he won that. And this is what he's selling. These mallets. They are great for this. Straighten these twists and stuff off without the warming. Without even leaving so much as a mark. Now what we'll do is we'll clean that up, cut that into some pieces and drill holes in it. Make some keychains. What do you think about that? Guys? Quick, easy, five, seven dollar piece right there. People buy them up. Something cheap. Something cheap. All right, here's a project I started last time. I'm finished. It's got a horse head bottle opener on this end, as you can see. But well, this is going to be a grill fork with a bottom up on the end, and it's made out of flat bar, so we're going to do a cool twist with it. Uh, so I'm going to nip some of this off here and probably take, let's see here, I'll go ahead and mark it with a punch where I want to nip it. If I can find my punch, there it is. Let's see here. I'm going to nip it right there. Just leave that in there. We'll come out and cut that off. What do you guys want to see me make if Willard helps? Y'all get us up to 80. We got eight, eight likes to go. 
you get us up to 80, what are we making? You guys got to tell us what you want to see. Well, it don't mind getting up there. No. We look like no. jumping in there on that hammer. Alice, 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 uh, but I had to shut down and go and weld a handle on the end of a bearing and get a piece of steel ready and all that. Uh, so. Banana hanger. W73. That's not a bad idea. Banana hanger. We're getting there. You know what a banana hanger is, right? Sits on your aisle at a decorative hanger. Oh, yeah, that you okay. hang a hook, uh, a hook yeah, of yeah, bananas yeah. right on it to keep them hung up so they don't on one side and sit on the oh, yeah. counter. And it'll turn gray. Not a bad idea. Up to 73. I'm just having more. Basket, twist, steak, turner, all four wheel. Well, he's got to help me, guys. How the hell is he going to help me with that? I love the <laughs> idea, but how's Willer going to help me with that? That takes light hammering. Willer can't help with that. I have. Up to 74. It'd be flat. <laughs> hey, I thought I was the. the let him swing the hammer. <laughs> all right. So, excuses, excuses. <laughs> Go in here and we're going to try and isolate. Or wrong tool, dummy. We're going to isolate the upper cut. Let's find our center punch mark that I put in there. Where the hell did you get? Dan Bulls, what's happening? Hit that like button. What's up? We're trying to get Willard up there swinging a hammer. We need six more likes. I'm not gonna say that, Penny, because you added to keep it well, clean. Well, a clean white church. Hey, you wanna hear a dirty joke? Why yeah. white horses fell in the mud? <laughs> Tommy Wright, have a good night, man. Solid metal pumpkin paperweight. Hell yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Big piece of metal. Andy, the work. Oh, Bismal Jester. What's up, brother? Andy is a long time friend. I haven't seen him in years, dude. How you been, man? Good to hear from you. He works with my mom. We grew up in his mom and my mom worked at the same place forever. Now Andy works there. Uh, we used to go to his house all the time. They had all kinds of big ass snakes, and it was awesome, man. Andy, brother, it's good to hear from you. Yeah, yeah, Andy. Good to see you in the house. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Go back and we'll, this. we'll see you next time. Nemo's out of here. See you, brother. Make a shoehorn in this. Shoehorn. All right. If I don't get that tonight, I'll put that on the list of things to make on the live stream. That's a cool project. They do sell well for the right uh, affairs, the right crowds. You know, you've got reenactments and things of that nature, uh, something that draws like like a history fair or something like that, something uh, at a meal, like we had the Harvest Folk Festival, draws those kind of like reenactors and stuff like that in there, they had a reenactment and all that, they buy those kind of things, very correct items. I mean, nobody uses a shoe one really these days, if you, some do, I guess, older folks that came in there and put the shoes on and off, I guess, yeah. Look at me being presumptuous. Big hand Alright, remember we just hiked up that, so we gotta come in here to the vice. 
We got them. Take our file. Get that rag off the top. Hey, sign that. Hey, for you guys on YouTube channels, check out the YouTube Blacksmith Community Group on Facebook. Yeah, go check it out, man. Down there it's for folks that have YouTube channels, for the Black Mr. YouTube channels, you can throw around ideas for videos, collaborations, get together, whatever. You don't know say. Oh. Time for beer. I did say I was going to drink every time somebody gave me a super chat. And I chugged my beer on the last one, so I need another one. We ain't got one thing. I mean, that's like a get ping ping drunk button. That's right. How funny is that? That tells us, folks, let's get ping ping drunk. See what <laughs> he can do. Let's round me another five hour live stream. Yeah. Willard and Bradley, if you like to see, man, I got to go. <laughs> 2018 Fall Brawl champion Carl Marie is watching. Yes, we do have more beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, folks, if you didn't know the team that I sponsored, He's a hell of a driver, hell of a family that runs the team, hell of a group of guys. Work our ass off on the car, and uh, we kind of won. The, I guess you call it the Super Bowl of our division for the year this year. We uh, went out there and led all the laps into qualifying, the heat races, the, the the main race, everything. Led every single lap, start to finish, from the green to the check. Kind of makes you feel good. It's the first win of the season for us too. We haven't won all season either. It's the last race, big money race. Up there gets it done, makes you feel really good actually. Know that all that hard work paid off. That's right. All right, I'm gonna go right here with a puller, my bottom puller, a gradual puller in there to isolate the top of the port. And that puller's gonna get upset a little bit here when I do this, but I'll flip it around and match it. Happy for us. We'll see you next time. Craig J, we'll see you next time. Later, guys. They didn't want to see me forge. We're up to 77. We ain't got three more likes, folks. And Willard's getting on the anvil. Three more likes. I know we can do it. Willard, get on your phone and hit the like button. I already did. <laughs> Seven, seven. We're playing with our emotions. Right. Wait, went down in lights? <laughs> and then went right back up. <laughs> you guys did that. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm going to take they, mine off of there. They probably don't like me. I was trying to see who hit the down. Now, the, if, the, if the I had my button. guillotine tool working, <laughs> like the one over there that's broke, I could have done that a lot faster. Uh, yes, out of Metal Forge. Thud Thud is here, reading comments all night, brother. Hey, I got to go recycle some uh, beverages real quick, guys. Y'all yeah, I mean, what do you think? I had two different voices or something? Yeah, come on, man. Yes, Thud voice. Thud is in the house. Y'all quit making him show his face. He's going to break the camera. All right. I've, I've been trying to heat up on the uh, forge over here all night. Corey, it's Willard on the camera. <laughs> well, hell yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, two more likes, folks. Two more likes. One more like. That's right. Tell T, kid, T, wife, T, friends. <laughs> really getting on the anvil. We get another like. Oh, two more like. Nope. Back up. One more like. There it is. Eighty like. Oh hell! We're just getting on the anvil. Eighty one. Oh yeah, he's definitely getting on the anvil, folks. Damn, that's all it took to get y'all to like that thing is getting me on camera. Damn, I think they like me more. They like you, or like you more. They like me, Willard. 
I'm a likable guy. We gotta finish making this first, guys. Yeah, let me finish this first and we'll come up with something. You think about what we're gonna make, brother. That's right. Corey, appreciate that like. The last one. We're up to 83 now. We're, gonna, we're, we're making progress. We're gonna huh? let the fans decide on what we're gonna make. That's easy. Remember, Willard is a beginner blacksmith. Well, I wouldn't even say that. He does more camera work than he does blacksmith. And he is interested in the hobby. And he's he's like me. He, and Bradley's like me. They they'd rather watch more at the first to learn and right. get more knowledge before they try to pick up the hammer because they don't want to go over there and mess shit oh, up. Oh, Jim said Fuller is sledge. Yeah. Oh shit. I bet he could pull her and put an eye in there anyway. Oh. Where, where's that big twenty pounder at? It's already <laughs> I can see you through there, Bradley. It's there already it punched. is. Champ wouldn't let me get in on that. <laughs> Champ, I'm not set up to do it. I got a well to handle on that big bad boy to do that. But that's a good idea. We might do that on a live stream next week. No, we got scissors right. Champ, what do we got here? <laughs> Rock Series 4 says beginner, huh? Thousand layer katana should do just fine. Hell, that's what I was thinking, man. No problem. I'll, I'll pull that out of my back pocket for Bro, you. you got any tomahawk, tomahogany? Tomahogany? Uh, tomahogany. Is that like a mahogany <laughs> tomahawk? <laughs> no, that's the name of the steel that the Japanese use. Oh, all right. Tomahogany. <laughs> tomahogany. Really? Let me call up my Japanese uncle and have him ship me some. I mean, I got some sake from <laughs> out there, but. All right, we're going to go down in there with the fuller and tool. Spread them wide. Clean all of it up. Next heat, we'll spread them open and hit them with a grass file to clean them up. <laughs> That laugh is loud. Yes, I've been told it's pretty comical at the most times. <laughs> really, you ain't been taking the pants off the phone again, have you? Uh, <laughs> not likely, I guess. Hey, yes, they call him the street. <laughs> I ain't been drunk enough to do that in a while. Fast <laughs> they all to me. Last time I walked into my brother's law's bedroom, <laughs> Guys, you never know what you're going to hear about on Ting Ting Show on Thursday nights, my God. But you're going to miss it if you don't tune in. That's right. 40, lot, 40 people watching. You guys get them in here because Will's getting ready to get on the hammer. That's right. As soon as y'all figure out what we're making. Uh, Michael Dow says, make some kind of walking cane topic. Not a bad idea. That's pretty cool. Make maybe a walking stick top. Because we do do some hiking. Uh, you mean my crown royal lid won't? Yeah, let's make a hammer, Willie. <laughs> okay. Somebody uh, that won the raffle that's watching right now, put in there what hammer you want if you won the raffle. I'll know who you are. If you're watching right now, mushroom. if you want one of the raffle hammers, put it in there. We want to work on Dude, it. said Dude, make a mushroom. mushroom. A mushroom. I haven't seen you make one of those yet. That's you right. you I haven't. haven't. I have not seen you make a mushroom. I think that's a good idea. I think we'll do it. Good I job, think, Julie. I think Willard should bang on a mushroom with Jan with Tink Tink. Great idea, Julie. Great idea. See, folks, she does have good ideas every once in a while. Using that hip some other than head rack, ain't you bad uh, girl? Uh-oh, Penny says we saw Willard streaking before. How are you striking? Striking. What streaking? <laughs> Trying to get me in trouble? My bad. <laughs> That's that he's linking education. That's where Larry Reed goes. Hey, we're up 84 like but uh B and B folks says yes we did, but Penny. Willard, is there something you need to tell us about? Is there something we missed from Quad State? Hell, I was there. I missed it. What's going on, Willard? I didn't go streaking. 
I don't recall. At least I don't think I drank that much apple crown that night. No, you was in bed before me every night. You had to crawl over me to get out because your room was on the other side of the entrance. So you had to go over my bed to get out of the damn tent. Joey says, put the BLs down, Bradley. I've, I've been putting them down. That's the problem, I think. I think you're right. I think you meant to put them up. All right, we got them. Got the rag cleaned up on them. Corey wants to know, was Willard the striker who kept missing? Was Willard what? The striker that kept missing. Willard don't miss with a hammer very often, friend. Willard didn't miss. Yeah, he's pretty good with a hammer. Jeremiah didn't give him a damn chance. Yeah. Tell the voice is scared, Willie. Well, well the sad squad. Jeremiah's man, I ain't talking, I ain't saying anything bad, but what's he got going on that hammer? He's got a, nobody else is punching this but me. I know. <laughs> he, he walked away for a second. Willard picked up the hammer. He got three strikes here. I said, uh uh-uh. uh. I'm finishing this up, big guy. <laughs> and he did, too, didn't he? Yep. Hurt my feelings. My one feeling. It's gone. It's gone, Jeremiah. Thanks. Got to rebuild now. Having a lot of fun tonight, guys. Just messing with you, Willie. <laughs> Having a lot of fun tonight, guys, really. How many's in here now? Share it, share it, share it. 39 with 84 likes. Y'all can do better than that. I know better than this. And y'all messed and they asked me if they could. Hey, y'all get it to 90, and we'll make Thug Thug get up there, too. No, we won't, because I don't know what the hell to do for me and you, let alone you him and you. No, nah, he's yeah. just going to do a dance. A dance. I, I, I've been on the thing with that before, but i tell you what, if you give up tonight, like, I might give you at least the first verse anyway. Talking about Ting Ting, yes, he is a blacksmith. Full time, all day, every day. This is what he does for a living and for fun. And to relieve stress. I can take also a guy's shameless plug here. I haven't done it all night. Get my Etsy store up. www.countylineforge.etsy.com. A lot of right. cool stuff just got listed as well. Uh, t-shirts as well. Get one of them. Teespring County Line Forge uh, at Teespring or Teespring.com. So County Line Forge one two. I can't remember, but just Google uh, or go to Teespring and search for County Line Forge. You'll find you my shop. Get on Etsy.com and just search County Line Forge, and you'll find it. It's all one word on Etsy. No spaces in County Line Forge. All one word. Or Obviously, I've got Patreon as well. You can go check that out. Patreon.com. Have you ever horses. made horseshoes? Have I ever made horseshoes? No. I'm not a farrier. I am a blacksmith. I, I buy horseshoes. <laughs> Mike, make, Michael Doss said, is it a good kind of mushroom? Well, we can only hope for I'm Michael. I you want to put it in your mouth while I'm making it. I guarantee you that. It'd be the last one you put in there anyway. <laughs> I bet you hallucinate you put this in your mouth for real. <laughs> you be seeing God. <laughs> or at least hoping you that was. Be a hallucination, <laughs> that just depends on how good. That just depends on how good the medical treatment is. <laughs> that shit's hot. It ain't the burn that kills you; it's the infection afterwards. Really good to use as well. If you've got, if you don't have enough space on your anvil top, 
to get the point to the edge. Working that point like that over the edge of the surface where you're not bouncing off the anvil and missing it. You can get it down to a much finer point. And that's kind of crucial when making these forks or steak clippers or something like that. The forge the two sides and get a nice sharp point on there. Drown the forge. Okay. See? Now we're going to bring the other one and draw it out the same before we round them up. Then we'll bend them into shape. Uh, and I'm going to do something. I've never tried it before. I want to see how it looks. I'm going to twist the flat bar. Hope it goes well. Hope it goes well. Friend request after friend request after friend request. I want to be your friends. You can make some cool fence designs. Good. <clears throat> and he's done a lot of a lot of fencing in his day for sure. And not the kind of little mask on. More than I care. More than I care. You think you do it, that's for sure. Ten dollars super chat from Jim Patterson. Woo, Jim! Thank you, sir. Hey, how you liking your dress, Jim? Did you get it all worked out? I know you was having issues with the linkage, and uh, Alan was going to help me out with that. Did you get that squared away and start using that bad boy in your shop at home, or what? See, you posted pictures of it sitting there. It ain't just sitting there. I'm sure of it. If you're like me, you got that damn thing running that day before you quit. Oh, Jim, by the way, I wanted to say uh, congratulations on the good news from the doctor the other day. Uh, I was really worried about you there, friend. Hogging all the heat. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh. BRB possible tornado. Isle of Metal Force. Hold on, brother. <laughs> Batting down the hatches, brother. Told you this thing ain't Hang strong. Up. It'll be gone in just a little bit. Hell, it came in and out quick, didn't it? It, it was a whole lot quicker than the last one. It came in at sure. what, 2 or 3 o'clock this morning? Of course, of course, the last one hung around for 22 hours straight and just dumped rain on the course. Yeah, it hung out for about 48 or something. 22 hours straight dumped rain. Oh, that outer band before it came on yeah. shore, yeah. This one was in and out in 12 hours. Hell, it was sunny an hour and a half after it was raining buckets. I mean, raining buckets. Literally. We probably got four or five, maybe six inches of rain. I'm not a meteorologist, but I, I know how much rain we normally get versus what we got today and how my neighbor's land looks. It was flooded. Everything flooded around here, so it weren't your average thunderstorm. That's right. My basement took on more water than normal. Did it? Yep. I work on the lake. And it's pretty intense out there. Luckily, my buttons are tied up. Pretty good. <laughs> and, and I, I know a guy that knows his knot pretty well. <laughs> John Murphy says I bet you guys could make nice swords. I have one in the process. I'm just a lazy son of a gun. I ain't finished. <laughs> I don't know about the middle part of that, but I got I got uh, two of them. I got a blank forged out. It's going to be more of a clay board. It's probably about the old 58, 60 inches long, tang tip. And I've got a small Viking sword that's probably about 34 inches tang tip that uh, I've already got the fuller in around the bevels and everything rough ground and heat treated. I've just got to get to cleaning it up and hand sand everything. And then I've got the guard made. I haven't made the palm board hand before yet. I'm still at 
kind of at a loss on what I should do for the bomb. That's why I haven't done that. I'm a very indecisive person. When it comes to being OCD, I want to do something. I have to think about everything before I do it. And if I ain't satisfied, I won't do it. Champ Ironwork told me that you got Facebook messenger on me, Willie. You got what? <laughs> no, nah, Champ, I had to put y'all on silent for tonight. Uh, don't put them on mute. When are you going to finish that sword thing, T? Oh, sometime or another, I swear. It ain't just <laughs> sitting there and rock. I've just got other priorities at the time. And being a full time smith. Unless somebody's wanting to buy that sword, it takes it doesn't take it goes on the back burner to other folks. Between working on orders, see, I don't just make stuff for the shows. I also work on orders of customers. I am behind on one actually, an uh, extra. I've got it made. Uh, I just haven't ground it yet. I really need to do that because I am behind on that order. And I'm really careful about it. It's the only order I'm behind on. Um, but. I do have other obligations for us to take care of. Such so. Turn it on for a minute. On that one. So go ahead. Uh, go ahead there, Champ Fireworks. He turned it on. Out of the middle for you back. All well, just crazy wind. Well, that's good to hear, brother. Glad you're still batting down out there. It's rough on the coast this time of year. Now we're going to square it or round them up. Knock a bunch of stuff around. <clears throat> Hopefully, it don't knock too much around, though. We just got the insurance man out there Monday for our place in the last one. <laughs> I guess that means we're at almost two hours. I'd like to go ahead and get Willard out here, but I think we're going to cut it off at two hours because uh, they got they didn't plan for this. But I will say this. Next Thursday, Willard, bring your boots, bring your clothes. You're going to be in the hamper with me, brother. Woo! Willard's going to be forging with me all week next week. I'm going to have time to plan the project. Uh, and he's going to be live with me. So, thud, thud. Fresh up on your camera operating skills because you're right. operating both next week, man. I'm getting camera and comments next week, but <clears throat> You're either going to uh, talk less or not going to show you as much. <laughs> Hopefully it's both. Corey, he is making a fork out of a horse head that he made last night. A grill fork.
Frontier Force. We'll see you next time. Later, brother. Willard's my brother. <laughs> That's right, Coffee. We like right. long brothers now. Dan, we'll see you next time. Learn something new every time. Hey, if you pay attention, that's what Mama always says. Learn something new every time. Trina said, and mine. <laughs> what? That's right, Miss Penny. Oh. <laughs> John said that's forking cool. That is forking cool, man. It is pretty forking cool, I'm not gonna lie. All right, that is later, Brandon. Later, Grayson. Okay, you guys out of here. Was a very good friend of mine, Hearts and Health, everyone. That's right, John Mez has a great saying to you, Hearts and Health. Hearts and Health. To answer your question, Spencer, uh, technically, no, not brothers, but as far as we're concerned, yes, we well, are yeah, brothers. like he's my brother if you mess with him. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> we always say, are you your brother's keeper? Mess with him and find out. <laughs> <laughs> he's a grown man. He can take care of himself. If somebody else will jump in, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst kind of brothers, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> they, you get in trouble together all the time like that. Where's everybody going? 33. Drop below 30. It's definitely done. All right, no, we're getting close to the end. I'm getting ready to throw this thing in here and see what a flat bar twist looks like. Sweet. I'm taking that one home with me, guys. All right, straighten it out. That's what the trusty Allen scanner's rock, rock, uh, wooden hammer for, wooden mallet.
burn something. That's right. That's why you got the bottle opener there for James. You can use it as a handle too. Background lamps are just cracking me up. You guys are out right, Mike. Don't worry, that's me and Willis providing them background lamps. <laughs> What you're saying is you're the common relief. Isle of Metal Force says uh, keep an upright log for straightening twists. Huh? Keep an upright log for straightening twists. What the hell you, what are you saying? Keep an upright log? Keep an upright log. Oh, upright log. Yeah, like that one there. I'm, I'm holding the log on my hand. <laughs> I gotta cool this off and set up here in my hand. Actually, let's. Uh, it's a little warm though. Chubby <laughs> check your dizzy twist. Hey, our, uh, right there. It actually cups. You're right handed. Cup it in there with your thumb, just like that. Run to your forge. We'll see you next time. It's actually pretty comfortable. What do you think? <clears throat> yeah, that's looks pretty nice right there. It's actually pretty comfortable because it, your thumb slides right down into that yep. twist. Nice little rested place to orient. Either it way, left-handed or right-handed. Orient it pretty well, actually. You hold it by the bottle opener. Because the bottle opener, the shape of your palm, your thumb right there in the twist. Works well. Isn't Chubby Checker the uh, Charlotte Checker's mascot? Huh? Chubby Checker. Yeah. Hey, Baker says Chubby Checker. Do the twist. <laughs> All right, what's our time, man? We are at a minute till two hours. All right, time to shut her down. Shutting her down, guys. Just remember, you get a week to wonder what we're going to make next week. Uh, recycling real quick. Yeah, BNB Forge. I hope next year I'll be able to get to come out there and hang out with y'all. Well, I mean, y'all could just drive here and hang out with us. Hey, hey, speaking of which, I was getting ready to talk about that. Uh, March 29th. Will you finish recycling and then talk about it? <laughs> Water in the bushes. I get drunk, they get fed. Okay, uh, is that, we're, I think we're going to be skipping the, the roundup in March down in jo or May down in Georgia. Cold? <laughs> uh, take you sticking up in the front of it up. That's, it works. Up in this front there, let a little of that heat out. It's just a little chilly back there. Yeah, move my husband up for you. <laughs> Corey wants to know that is so cool. He said, what would you sell that for? What would I sell the... Uh, the, the grill fork you just made. Oh. Now, just in case you're wondering, yes, I'm warming up my fat. So. The last one I saw with a head on it was uh, 60 bucks. I asked for 50. He gave me 60. So I'm going to tell you 50 for that right there. And this one actually has a bottle opener. The other one didn't. It just had a uh, bull's head on the end of it. And it had uh, some little twist going down the end of it. This one right here has got the twist <laughs> plus a bottle opener. I'll still throw it in there for 50 bucks because the horse head doesn't take as long to make as the bull's head. So between doing the bottle opener, the twist, and 50 bucks. You want to PayPal that to me first? <laughs> you guys claim it if you want it. <laughs> I'm going to make more of them because that's actually really comfortable. I like that. What do you think, Thud Thud? Put that in your hand. Hold it by the bottle opener at the back where it fits your palm. It sits in there perfect. It does. Your thumb sits right down in that groove. You see, he acts like he knows how to use that thing, but he ain't got an idea. Yeah, I'm better off using this thing. <laughs> <That's not laughs> right. You can be professional in your own mind. <laughs> Spencer Coop says, what's in March? In March, uh, 
we're having to get together here at the Ting Ting Ranch. Yep, end of March. March, uh, I think it's the 27th. But if you guys know better, correct me. We've been talking about it in the Quad Squad. Uh, a Quad State event? It's not Quad State. It's just going to be here at the Ting Ting Ranch. It's See, it is to camp out at the Ting Ting Ranch. Camping out at Ting Ting Ranch, working here in the shop. We're all going to do a big fire, a ring of fire, uh, get a bunch of porches and animals like we did at John Coffee's house and. Y'all hang make out for 29th. three or four days. 29th. If y'all would have been, if it had been a week and a half earlier, you could have come and got some crawfish at the wedding. Yep. We'll are getting married the week before that. That's so. that. Will, will to be freshly married for this event. Yep. You sure will. But uh, yeah, you're welcome to come whenever you want that week and start. Uh, be here as early as Wednesday, Thursday, if you want. We're going to go until Sunday. Some are going to camp over su overnight Sunday night and then leave Monday probably. Hell, some folks might stay a whole week. Stay however long you want. We're gonna camp out here at the Ting Ting Ranch. You're gonna have the horses back there. Uh, have a I good got, time. I got room in my house if they want to camp. That's right. We got places <laughs> to put you up. I'd invite you to my house, but no. they ain't room to camp. <laughs> Frontier <laughs> Forge ain't no room there. Just quad squad invited. No, everybody. Everybody's invited. I say everybody. No, I say there's room in my house. But I, I as long as you bring beer. Here. If you're an axe murderer, <laughs> as long as you bring beer, we're good. Yeah, we can take <laughs> care of you afterwards. <laughs> That's right. 29th, 30th, and 31st. There it is. What's well, Ask Ting Ting? It's a Ting Ting hammer in. Yeah, Penny probably be there a bit early. Spencer, so no, this is the year. first ever. It was the first ever get together at the Ting Ting Ranch. And if it goes <laughs> well, it will be a yearly event. Uh, between the two places, I think uh, one in the spring here at my place, and then one in fall, like we just did up at Coffee's place, um, six months or so apart. Um, it was a lot of fun at Coffee, so I imagine it's just going to be just as much fun here. You know, maybe even more because more folks may show up as they start joining in with us. I mean, it's not just for the Quad Squad. We just called that the Quad Squad because it's all the groups that all the folks that got together say, "Hey, we're definitely going to Quad State." So we made a group on Facebook Messenger for all of us to talk to each other, plan everything, and just shoot the shit kind of, you know, hang out. And we became like family. So we talked to each other every day still. Quad State's 350 days away, 345. <laughs> we, we still talk to each other like it's two days away. Like we're excited. You know, we get up every morning. What's up? Good morning. Everybody, you know, throughout the day, we just, we hang out. We became family, you know. And so I don't see my the, the hammer in here at my house being any smaller. Actually, I would see it being bigger because we've had a lot of people show interest and in wanting to join up and come do these things with us. And you know, Ting Ting, more the merrier. Anybody's welcome. You guys, uh, I'm not going to tell anybody no. If you want to come and learn, I mean, we, hell, we met people at Quad State and invited them back to Coffee House for cookout and hammer in and all that stuff. Because you're eager to learn, you want to do it, you want to hang out, and you're cool people, and you're not a pain in your ass, and <laughs> like to just show your ass, you're welcome. Out here in the country, when you show your ass, you get your ass showed. That's right. <laughs> yes, Penny, you are right. John Coffee would be the guest of honor. And Coffee, come on, as long as you can bring one of them briskets that you made. <laughs> and I will say this, though. We got the coals and everything else. If you're planning on coming, we are going to be setting up a PayPal. Uh, we're asking you. It's not required, but it's. I, I think it's only fair that everybody chip in to pay for the food. Because uh, the Quad State cookout, all the food and everything for the weekend, I I don't want to put a definite, it costs over $600 though for all the food and everything between the pies and the breakfast and the sausage and mm. the, all the meats and all the e extras and drinks galore. And I mean, for the whole weekend, I, I know it cost me over 300 bucks. I think coffee said he spent that, if not more out of his own pocket on food. So um, that's a, that's a large bill to split between two folks and, we had folks that chipped in. We still have a chip, tip jar out there that helped cover some of the costs, and that was very much appreciated. But I think this next one, and from here on out, we're going to have this PayPal set up. His wife is going to take take care of that. Uh, if you want to come, drop a 20 in there, something like that, please. It would help us out, cover the food and everything, because uh, we do it up when we get together. A bit. I don't know if you guys got to see the pictures from, if all of you saw the pictures of the food that we had at Coffee's Place, but we had it's 70 like plus pounds of meat on that grill. I got one word for you, and I can't say it over the live live stream. I tell you what, y'all come, y'all gonna get a taste of real southern cooking. I promise. Woo! It's gonna, gonna be, be good. good. I too. promise I will treat you right. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have a good time. And like I said, it's not required, but I think it's only proper if you did. BYOB, that's right. Definitely gonna be BYOB. 
Uh, if you, if you yeah, we do the not bottle, frown like upon road. brown bagging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a little quick recap on the things we made tonight. Where is it at? Where is it at? We got this. Where did we put our J hook? We put it down here. We put our J hook down here. What else did we make tonight? I feel like we made several things off. We twisted this up. Like I said, this right here is going to work well if you just cut that up into little small sections. And even Mickey. Royce, I think, did a video of where he cut these up into like half inch pieces and sold and, and drilled a hole through the center, center of them, cleaned them up, and sold them as uh, handmade beads. And that's a cool idea, too, if you use smaller stock. But a uh, quick little J hook. You can make a bunch of these. These sell great. If you use square stock, put a twist in them, just something to add flair. People eat these up for three, four, five bucks a piece. You know, you don't got to overcharge for them. Put them uh, on a piece of wood and it's a coat rack. It, there you go. It doesn't take any time at all, especially if you put thin bars in there at one time. You pull one out, taper it, stick it back in, taper another one, stick it back in. By the time you get back to your first taper, you're ready to bend that in and scroll it around and cut it off if you've got it in a good enough heat because it's soaked long enough. You know, so um, really two heats. and it, it, If you're good, you can get them in one heat. Really, you can. Uh, so there's no reason to charge 10 15 for one of these because it's literally 20 not even 20 cents of material maybe 10 cents worth of material maybe 10 maybe a uh, let's just say uh, give it a dollar we'll call it it costs you a dollar 25 to make this mm -hmm. okay uh in the real world cost times three is what you should really charge in my eyes um but that's how i do it five dollars right here is dollar 25 cost to make this thing quadrupling your money i think that's only right fifteen dollars you're probably doubting somebody it better be for a charity then if you're doing it like that and if it is for a charity you better be giving them all the money or you're just a plain out piece of crap i don't care who you are don't don't take money from folks for a charity for one it's illegal two uh it's unethical don't take money from folks for a charity if you don't plan on giving them every single dime and that's the only way I can justify you charging that much for a, a J hook like that. You know, smalls. That's the whole point of tonight, making smalls that uh, sell quick, cheap. The average person comes in, throw a five, ten dollar bill down on the table, walk away with something they think is pretty awesome that really didn't take you very long to make. These work well. Make them shorter if you want to reduce the weight. These are just three inches. They're not heavy at all. They probably weigh three ounces. Four ounces at the most. Uh, quick little bottle openers sell really well. Uh, toilet paper hangers, towel racks, um, things like that. Towel hoops, um, trivets, pot rests, things like that. Those sell well uh, if you can get a way to make them cheap. Split crosses, those definitely sell well, especially here in the South in the Bible Belt. I'm actually going to be making a bunch of those <laughs> because one of the fairs that I'm going to is hosted by a church. And um, there's going to be a split cross demo there. I don't think the guy's going to be selling very many because he's only going to be selling the ones he's making. But uh, I think it'd be wise to have some cross, maybe some cross necklaces made out of horseshoe nails, something like that. But smalls, think about smalls, guys, because if you're going to try and make money at a fair, something like that, twenty dollars should be your limit on your bulk items that you take. Um, Take a few big things, you know, if you make swords, you make knives, if you make hammers like me, I'm going to have a hammer sitting out there just to showcase. If somebody buys it, that's cool. Uh, take one or two bigs, what we call them, set them out there. If somebody buys it, that's great. If not, it, you can just showcase your work. They can see that. <coughs> Definitely also have a sign, um, have business cards set out there with some hand forged business card holders. Um, if you're going to, every everything that you hang your stuff on should be made by you. Like, I'm going to be making my own racks. Um, in the next couple of days for uh, hanging all these keychains and stuff on that I'm making, bottle openers, you know, uh, things and stuff like that. They may not, you know, they may not be for sale, but somebody may see it and say, hey, I like those. I want something like that in my shop, in my store. How much would you make me, a, make me six of these for so I can hang my different necklaces up? You know, you never know who you're going to run in with. Network, network, network. Um, but Take smalls, a couple bigs to showcase your items. Don't count on selling them. If you do sell them, that's great. Okay. Uh, but make sure you take plenty of 
backup items when you sell some stuff you can throw a couple more up there you've got plenty of each thing you're small because they're going to sell fast and you don't want to run out in the first an hour you know so take plenty of them to hang up there and i think you would do well um just keep that in mind and you're, you're you're selling to the average person you're not selling to the person who's looking to collect art at these fairs so that's just a little tip from ting ting guys Y'all have a good night. I really appreciate y'all watching this long. Uh, we've had a lot of you in here tonight. Thanks for all those who sent super chats as well. Big thanks to Bradley and Willard for uh, coming out here on Thursday nights and doing this for me. It means a lot to me, guys. I really appreciate it. Before you leave. Oh, yeah. Uh, Xavier, if you're talking about Mickey's hand grenades, then, oh, please bring some of them because we can't find them nowhere around here. You got to go to West Charlotte to get that shit. The 40 Ices? No, just a Mickey's hand grenade. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I, that's some stuff you don't find around here. So, <laughs> if that's what you're talking about, bring it. If not, back to Ting Ting. Good night, y'all. Oh, we'll see you next week. One more thing. If you're going to be setting up at shows, take a notebook and a pen. Okay, People are going to be asking you all the time if you're a blacksmith, they're going to be asking you here, can you make this? You may run across a few custom commissions. You may run across a few things that they want made that you know you can make um, that or taking an order or something. They, you don't have enough of an item there. Say a bar comes by and they want to buy all your bottle openers at $8 a piece instead of 15 It only costs you three to make it. You're making $5 a piece to sell them in bulk. Um, they might put in an order for you. You never know. Um, it you don't want to really cut your own throat, but take a book and take orders because you're probably going to get approached by somebody that's going to want to put in an order for a custom commission or a, a bulk amount of an item. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep it on your hat. Ting Ting is out. Good night, guys. It's on you, Thud Thud. Hit that end button. See you next week. Oh, Saturday. I'll see you next week. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. Still waiting for it. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's had one or two too many. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>